Okay, so here we go with Dredge. We would like to play first, definitely. Um, this hand looks pretty solid. Uh, not great, but solid. Uh, we will keep it. We're going to use the Neonate on turn one to pitch the Grave Troll and immediately start the dredging. Um, having these in your hand isn't ideal, uh, but I think we'll be okay. It's hard to turn down uh, you know, a dredge plus a, a dredge outlet, so... Now, in Legacy, rather than Neonate, you have Putrid Imp, which is just a, um, a one drop, I believe, that allows you to discard a card uh, to it and put a counter on it, I think. It's actually, um, I mean, this this certainly has its own place, but the obviously, as you'd expect, the outlets in Legacy are much better. But we're just going to go ahead and start it off right here. Now, the, the, the issue with this hand is it's basically we're going to be all in on dredging because we don't necessarily have a ton to do with our hand. I mean, I guess we can just play the Blood Guests out of it, um, but we're not really going to be able to draw the Faithless Looting um, or something like that. All right, so see, we're going to replace it, and this goes back into our hand. And in our graveyard, we have a Stinkweed Imp to dredge next turn. We have a Bridge from below, so <laughs> we're sort of already on the way here. So we will replace our draw up with the Stinkweed Imp Dredge Trigger. And now all of a sudden we have all of these in our graveyard, including a Faithless Looting. Although we're not going to have three mana uh, to make that work. So I think what we will do here is just go ahead and cast this Blood Gas. This is a pretty slow hand, actually. Um, but it begins. We'll see. It's almost possible I want to draw next turn. I mean... You want three three mana is really where you want to be in this deck. Um, I think I'm actually. I think there may be room for more lands. Um, not a lot more, but maybe uh, Dranyard Temple, the Innistrad land uh, that you can return from the graveyard. Um, it might have a place. Better yet, we should probably just play a Life from the Loam or two. Uh, I think that may be the best way to go about it. Uh, but lots of testing to do. Obviously, this is a very new deck. It looks like we're playing against Infect here, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so hmm. we don't have the land. There's nothing great in here. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and attack with our blood ghast. Obviously, he won't block. Yeah, interestingly, I could keep dredging, but because we can't hit that payoff and dread return, uh, I think I actually am going to need to draw and try to draw a land because our hand does sort of unlock if we draw a land and we get a flashback faithless looting. Uh, we just more or less go off at that point. Obviously, the odds of hitting the land are not high. However, there is only there are two in our grave, three in our graveyard, two there. So we have eight out of thirty-six. So that's not great. We'll see. Um, but that's I mean, we also get to draw Faithless Looting uh, just off the top. Looks like there are two of those we can get. We get another Neonate. You know, there are things we can do here if we're not just dead. <laughs> the blowouts. <laughs> okay. Um, that said, eh, we're probably just going to be dead, though. I don't... I mean, we can't... We obviously can't block it. It's possible, I guess, our opponent's hand is terrible. But it seems unlikely. Maybe we shouldn't have kept this hand. I'm not sure. Although this could have been very good depending on what he was playing. If we hit an Archimeba in one of those dredges and he just plays guys and we get a block or something, and then we just have all day to set up. As is, though, this is less than ideal. And we'll likely just die to a pump spell. This is not an easy deck to play, you know, <laughs> by the way. Just, oh, I'm going to throw everything in my graveyard and then go off. It's not, you do not have that power level in modern. It's, there actually are situations where you want to draw instead of immediately going for the for the dredging. And I think it's possible that this game was one of them. Maybe I should have done that. Really, that third mana it oftentimes is very important, so...
We'll see. I mean, then, you know, on the other hand, we did have the Dread Six. We could have just put a bunch of Blood Gas, Surprise Amalgams, and then played the second land and just had that 10 power on turn two and just killed him very quickly. But um, as it was, that's not really how this developed. <laughs> Our opponent says, you can board into Dark Blast. <laughs> that is true. I can do that. And it probably will. Don't think it's going to help me this game, because I think we're just dead, but uh, we do have that option post-sideboard. Alright, we've died. Okay. So, yes, let's get that Dark Blast in here, which is very good against this deck. So a lot of times I board out uh, either a Gargadon, especially in a matchup like this, uh, where it's, it's you know, not necessarily a lot of, of blocking going on, um, and Street Wraiths. Uh, the Vengeful Pharaoh should be pretty good here as well. Lightning Axe. I'm almost tempted to name Ink, to get this to name Ink Wap Nexus, but it's probably not correct. All right, we'll go ahead and board out the rest of the Street Wraiths, or I'll go ahead and keep one in. Board out a Gargadon here. All right, let's see if we go any better here. Uh, our opponent I will certainly have some graveyard hate, but I actually, given that he he has a fast clock, I don't know that I actually want to board in and try to, to deal with it. I think maybe I just want to, um, you know, try to play the speed game here on the draw. And if he just has the turn one relic, then he has the turn one relic. Um, but maybe he doesn't have the kill, you know. Um, against a deck like Infect, if they don't have a, a, the Blighted Agent, essentially, you can just play Stinkweed Imps and block a bunch. Stinkweed Imp is a 1-2 flyer with Death Touch. Don't necessarily need to, you know, try to put... If we have this reactive hand, it's great, we're good to get... We can beat the Relic Progenitus, and then we just die on turn 3 to get an Infected out. Uh, that's not really where I want to be, so... Not really sure. Um, well, obviously, what the exact proper way to board is, but especially here on the play, I don't mind just trying to... I'm trying to be faster than him. Uh, the thing about graveyard hate against the stretch deck is sometimes you'll have it and if, even if you don't have it this deck can make 10 power on turn two um and you know it doesn't happen all the time but it does happen and if that's the case your relic virginis looks pretty bad when you just die to blood gas and price amalgams before you know you can really do anything our opponent's definitely going deep in the tank on his own sideboarding here though so we'll see this deck is fun, if nothing else. I mean, I don't think any graveyard strategy in Modern is ever going to be dominant. Uh, there's so many different ways to hate it between Leyline and Rest in Peace and Relics. And, I mean, just Anger of the Gods. You can just wipe away this, this deck's board. So I don't think this deck is by any means, um, you know, overpowered or anything like that. I think it's just a, a pretty solid deck. This is an interesting one. So we have two lands, two Neonates. However, a bunch of cards, I mean, I don't want either of these in my hand. Um, but we can use the first one to pitch the Imp. The second one to pitch the Bridge. We can just cast an Archimibo later. Or maybe we'll use the first one to pitch the Bridge. And then the second one will trigger the Bridge. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. I'm not positive here. You have to evaluate hands in a stick on a completely different axis, that's for sure. Let's see what he's got to lead us off here. Nothing. Okay, so... See, I could just start trying to, to essentially go off now, but I think that we're just going to pitch the bridge from below. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would have hoped to have drawn a land or something castable there, but it is what it is. That's, that's not terrible. Um, okay, so we can play out the second Neonate. And start dredging. Let's do that. And then if we hit some blood gas or um, ideally like a blood gas and a price amalgam, you know, win the five cards, which, you know, a little bit magical Christmas land, but um, we can bring him back when we play the City of Brass. And we'll have a zombie as well. I, this is again. I may want to actually start drawing later. Um, I don't think I want to right away, uh, but I'd like to draw. Well, we need to hit faithless. We need to hit either land or faithless looting to be able to pitch a vengeful pharaoh, which is going to be very good against him. All right. So let's see what we hit here. 
Dark Blast. That's an important one. <laughs> that is pretty important. So we can start dredging back Dark Blast, which is just great against uh, all of his creatures. They're all they all have one toughness, uh, with the possible exception of Viridian Corruptor if he were to play that. So Dark Blast might just be able to get us there. Uh, so Gargari Thug uh, is pretty good because when it dies, you can put the Neonates back on top of your deck. Well, that's a pretty good answer to uh, to the Dark Blast plan, that's for sure. Um, I don't even know if we... Do I just want to draw a card? Maybe. Let's just draw a card. Oh. Not ideal. Not ideal. So, I can play Thug. Hope that he plays a creature I can block to get back Neonates. As soon as we... Hmm. Don't know that I want to do that. Guess we can dredge. If we keep dredge, if we do that and we keep dredging... We can try to hit the deck more salvage as well. Yeah, it doesn't feel great, but... Yeah, hands with Faithless Looting and hands without are just vastly different in this deck. I almost want more discard outlets. Maybe I, there are some versions of this that play Zombie Infestation, uh, which is a pretty good discard outlet. Um, of course, we could go the Lot with Troll route as well. There's so many different options, and you know, uh, it's so early in the process with this deck, there's no telling what the optimal build is. Uh, but Recurrable Discard uh, with Lot with Troll or with Zombie Infestation seem like they could be pretty good. Of course, on the other hand, you know, we could have a land, another land, another neonate, etc., etc. So, we made the decision. I guess we just have to dredge at this point. Get the one we can actually cast, I suppose, even though it's fewer cards. Well, there's the blood gas. Hmm. Yeah. So, we're going to slowly attack him. I mean, he kept this hand because it had a Spell's Guide. He doesn't have any infect creatures, so... Not under huge amounts of pressure, but also don't have a lot of... a lot of gas ourselves. So what I actually am probably going to do here is... And I, maybe I should have done this last turn. I, no, no, because we needed to cast this. Okay. So, uh, it, on his end step, I'm going to Dark Blast our Golgari Thug. Uh, that puts it into the graveyard, which gives us a zombie off of the bridge, allows us to put the Neonate on top of our deck, draw it, uh, um, cast it, discard... Okay, sure, that's fine. Uh, discard uh, probably the Vengeful Pharaoh, and um, then dredge again. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. I like the line... Of course, he's probably sitting on a you know a mountain of pump spells. So if he finds an infect creature, we're going to be in trouble. But we have a plan in the meantime. Actually, it might be really interesting to see this if I dark blast my Golgari Thug and he. Uh, oh man, he's got the Pindle Haven. Hmm. Wonder if he'll see it. I mean, we're not really. There's no reason for us to not try, I guess, uh, because then we can just do it during our turn. Interesting. Okay. Become immense. What's happening? Okay. Yeah, I'll take 10 or 6. This is good for us because we actually, really awkwardly, he could have pumped our uh, thug to survive our dark blast. Interesting game. All right, that's fine though. Oh, and he F6. <laughs> so he could have, he could have redirected, but he F6. 
I mean, that was, that was like the line we needed to take regardless. I guess it would have cost him two life. So, all right, let's get the neonate back on top. Get a zom zom B out here. I don't think we're getting away with that trick again, for what it's worth. All right, so we're going to draw the neonate. This is going to be very good against that spell skite. As it turns out, this does work, right? Destroy target attacking creature. Yeah, that'll put an end to that plan. All right, draw the neonate. Go ahead and get in there for two. So I might save this because since we're just going to be dredging with it anyways. Uh, I might save it so that we may actually be able to bait him into the Vengeful Pharaoh. I don't think there's anything I'm missing here. Obviously, we'll find out, but... No, he's still drawing lands, so... He's burned one become immense, so his hand's just got to be stacked with them. This is much more grindy of a game than I expected to play with uh, this dredge first, in fact... <laughs> match up here. Oh my gosh, it's going to work. Okay, so this, does it have to deal damage? Okay. Make sure we have a stop set here. Let's see if he actually goes for the pump or if he's just trying to scare us. <laughs> okay, there we go. Unless we actually die which would be rather unfortunate, uh, but I only count 10. If it is a become immense, though, and it looks like it might be, oh, and mutagenic growth, we could just be dead. Does he have the mutagenic growth as well? Okay, he doesn't. Okay, so, oh, this is a weird game. Okay, so we're going to, this is going to burn our bridge, but we'll have two zombies and he won't have anything, so. Okay, so the question is, do we actually want to dredge here? Uh, we can't, we're going to go to down to one, uh, and we'll not be able to City of Brass <laughs> anymore. So, I, I guess we're dredging because we're trying to hit Narcamoebas. So, yeah, uh, we'll dredge this Stinkweed Imp. And we did it. Okay, so that makes sense. Uh, okay, so we will... We had not blocked. We will take the damage. Whoa, why didn't that work? Why did that not work? What did I... When combat damage is dealt to you, if Vengeful Pharaoh is in your graveyard... Just... It was. It was in our graveyard. Oh, but he finds a vast what did it. Awkward. Okay. I understand. All right, there's... Oh, I totally did not think about that. Uh, okay, so we'll keep back the Narcomoeba to block. We'll get in there for four. Oh, man, I totally didn't think about that. Interesting. Okay. Yep. Well, we can jump block and make another zombie, which is lethal. So he, he doesn't have um, a great line right now. And we get to keep on dredging to try to hit more Narcomoebas. Okay, so now we actually have to keep back multiple blockers. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I, so there's no point only getting in with one. He can pump this to a 2-3. Yeah, none of this is great. We have multiple bridges, though, so his attacks are, are pretty bad. I mean, he's got to kill us. Uh, because if we had a block with an Archimede, we'd make a bunch of zombies. He's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, weird. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I guess I keep dredging. I want to hit more Narcomoebas. All right, there's one. All 
And we have some prized amalgams. Okay, so we're probably good now. Um, I'm going to keep everything back just in case. Uh, or is there a reason maybe to get in with one? If we get in with one, this should be... Okay, this is fine. We still have three blockers. And then our prize amalgams come into play. And him being at four is, uh, I think, much better given that we have two twos. So we should be able to kill him next turn. Um, if he doesn't find a way to kill us. This is one of the oddest games of Magic I think I've ever played in my life. But that is the point of this series. The old dredge infect mirror where nobody can attack. All right, he knows he's got to come in. So uh, we will go that. Uh, and that. Because I actually do not want to kill his Glistener Elf if he were to pump it. Now, uh, I don't think he has Trample. Okay, yeah, we got there. Wow. <laughs> okay. Win or lose this match. That was quite a game. All right, so he's got Spell Sky, so let's go ahead and get the Ancient Grudge in here. Uh, get rid of the other Street Wraith. I still like this, for what it's worth. Um, obviously, it was a little awkward in that game, but uh, and I like the Lightning Axes as well, so... Actually, maybe I think I like Gargadon less than, than all of it, and I like Nature's Claim. Um, Nature's Claim is both good if he does find some Graveyard Hate, uh, and it can hit the Spell's Guide as well. So, this looks like it could be very good, as a matter of fact. So, uh, yeah, first thing we do is Neonate, second thing we do is Faithless Looting, and we have an Ancient Grudge. I like this hand. He mold to six. Okay, yeah, this fifth swing is going to be pretty good on turn two here. And get the neonate out. All right, so we'll dredge the grave troll to begin with uh, on his end step, and then if there, if as long as we hit another one. We're an actual like, complete business to go off at that point. So this becomes an artifact, right? So Ancient Grudge can hit that as well, but we can't hit that. So we could always just die. All right, what did we hit here? A bridge. Oh, good. We got the Dark Blast. We did it. Okay, so get the Dark Blast back. We hit an Archimeba. That will block the Ink Moth. Uh, okay, so first thing there is there is even a Thug in here, huh? That's pretty good. So uh, when we kill this, we're going to lose our bridge. That is the thing to keep in mind here. We don't actually have any way, as it currently stands, uh, to get zombies from that ourselves. So we're going to start by uh, killing this, so we don't have to lose any anything else. Also allows us to dredge it back. Okay, well. Fair enough. Got it out of his hand. Um, okay, so we will play the Mystic Confluence. And we will Faithless Loot. Alright, so I want to start by dredging the Thug. Um, do I want the Imp or do I want the Dark Blast? Well, we're not casting Dark Blast, so we might as well do the Imp for more here. Okay, now we get a discard too, so we'll discard the Grave Troll uh, and the Blood Gas because we have plenty of dredgers. And there's blockers for both, or for, for the Ink Moth. And we hit a Prize Amalgam, so that's good. Okay, so... I believe that is our turn. Next turn... Uh, we will dark try to Dark Blast his Blighted Agent again. As long as we don't die. I mean, he could play... F uh, Pendlehaven's... Just, I mean, yeah. Could certainly die to Blighted Agent here. Uh, 
Well, I can't block it, so I won't. Okay, well, that's not dead. That's a start. All right, get the dark blast back. Um, yeah, we can pay a life to do this. Mm -hmm. Alright, he'll probably have another protection spell for it, but that's fine. If he's using his protection... Oh, just spell pierce, huh? Uh, I won't pay to. Um, play land. Get a blood gas back. I wonder if I was supposed to discard this so we could flash it back. I, we... I don't want to die next turn. I'm going to keep one bl one Narcomepa back. All right, we're doing okay here. Uh, we're still getting beat down by Blight Agent, and in fact could be dead. He's got the fetch. He's got the two mana. That's six. So if he has become a mince, we're dead. Because um, he could Pendlehaven it to be uh, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're dead if he, We're dead if he has it. I mean, if he had, if he had the, the two protection spells, and the 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 unblockable guy, we would die. Um, we'll see. If not on our next turn, we have a bunch of options. Probably we'll just be dark blasting and hoping, <laughs> as it were. We could have certainly had a more explosive hand than we did. I, we had a very we hit Narcomebas and no blood gas early, uh, so we sort. I mean, I'm not going to say we had we had obviously this hand's been pretty good, but we could have had a lot more pressure on him right now than we do, and be threatening to kill next turn, which we're not. This has been a good match either way. It's been a lot of fun. Two two magic decks not playing your typical way. All right, that's five. Giant growth kills us. Didn't have it. Get Dark Blast back. I have a feeling he has the protection spell for this. It's very unfortunate. I mean, it's almost certain he does because he... He... Well, I guess it doesn't kill us. Hmm. He didn't pump it. He left this open. Uh, certainly playing like he has something. All right, let's make sure we're not missing anything over here. I don't think that we are. We could dredge. We could hit the Vengeful Pharaoh, but that doesn't really matter because we have him dead in probably next turn. Um, maybe we don't, though. I, if I hit, I, I keep this back to block the Ink Moth. Well, I guess anything we do is going to start with this. But let's see how this goes. That's really dumb. I'm really stupid. I understand that I'm an idiot. Okay, I, I'm sorry. Space stop right there. Really stupid play. Oh, okay, try not to go on tilt from being from from being so concerned about all my own cards I missed on board interactions. So, moving on from that, this still doesn't kill us next turn. We hit him for six. We do put double lethal on him. Or double, we we can kill. We we present lethal next turn at him. Um, I don't think this does anything, so I'm just gonna hold this up. I think I'm okay. So I'm trying to figure out if we're supposed to attack with everything. Um, it puts him at five, which I mean could very well be relevant. Um, because the, my reasoning being, if he has any sort of production or pump, um, we're dead anyways. But I guess that's not true. Say he had another spell pierce, he could spell pierce this to save this. Um, and we wouldn't be able to block it. Okay, I'll just do this. Saw that our opponent disconnected, so... Yeah, it feels pretty bad to go on 
to to just blow that dark blast play. It's right in front of me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, internet. I'm dumb. You all get to yell at me for how stupid I am. So now, I'm trying to figure out if I should just play the Golgari Thug. I wonder if things would have been any different. I mean, I, yeah, I blew that Dark Blast play. I could have done it on his turn, presented, prevented the pump. However, um, let me make an argument for why it doesn't matter. <laughs> for While our opponent tries to reconnect here. if he, It basically comes down to, if he has a pump spell for the Blighted Agent, I'm dead. And that is true uh, regardless of what I do there. Um, you know, if I wait till his turn to try to Dark Blast it, he still has the Pindle Haven up. That's not any different. So Dark Blast is still not going to get it. So the only thing that matters is it makes it minus one power, which means it would have one power instead of two power. Um, but there's eight and nine poison are the same thing because it still leaves me dead to any pump spell. Whereas, I guess it the only thing it actually meant is that we could not have swing with this Narc Amoeba. And for what it's worth, I mean, making him do that means that he can't block to remove our bridge, although that's probably not super relevant. If anything, maybe I was supposed to Dark Blast my own blood gas. Dark, yeah, I don't know. Okay. I mean, I punted pretty hard there, I guess. I don't think it was going to matter because it, there's no, no world in which we beat a pump spell off the top of his deck anyways. There, there is no line to that. So considering he slided last turn, it's I don't feel good about our position here. I mean, land or creatures are bad for him, but creatures aren't even the worst. Um, we'll see. I'll get a dredge again next turn. Hopefully hit Narcamoebas. Okay, well, that's a guy. Let's see if he goes for the activation on the Ink Moth. Um, it actually, I mean, there's not necessary. okay, he doesn't, but, okay, well. Well, here's where, it, oh, he didn't do it, okay. This is, here's where it did matter. If he, if he did go for it and hit me to nine, then next turn I couldn't hold up the Dark Blast as a, as a way to prevent it. I think I probably punted this game, but we're not dead yet. Prize the Malgums. Okay, well. Um, we can Ancient Grudge and Dark Blast, so that's where we want to be. Although, it's, I guess it's pretty clear he's just going to chump block here, huh? Um, the question is, do I want to get in with both? get in with everything. He blocks here, he takes four, he goes to two, then the Narcobimbas kill him next turn. Um, as opposed to, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So then when he swings back, he can't take it, and if he tries to just to activate the, so yeah, he can't take it, he's got a block here, he'll come back at me for two, but I guess it turns this last card he has, if it's a spell pierce live, Because we have to hold up Dark Blast for this one. And then Ancient Grudge that one and we lose the Spell Pierce. Okay, I'll just go in like... I'll go in like this. This is still this is still lethal. So he still has to block. Maybe he'll decide to block the Blood Gas to actually take one of our dudes off the table. In which case we get Bridge Triggers. But that seems unlikely. Okay. All right, we hit him to three. Bridges go bye-bye. All right, so again, it comes down to the top of his deck. If it's a pump spell, we're dead. Um, we could flash back the Faithless Looting. That doesn't do anything. All right, let's see. This allows me to beat Spell Pierce, so I think it comes down to the top of his deck.
Won't block. We're at nine poison. That's not dead. He drew an ink moth. Um, okay. I mean, isn't he just dead? He blocks here, here, takes two, but he's going to die to the Ancient Grudge. All right, I think we're good. All right, so I guess we go ahead and... I'm trying to think what we can actually hit that would be relevant here. Because um, more blockers won't be. I could have also Dark Blasted, uh, make him burn this, and then Dark Blasted again on my turn, but I don't think that would have been worth it either. I'm just trying to figure out if there's any value to doing this over just drawing. I don't know what I would draw that would matter. Um, I don't think there's... I mean, there's uh, like the nature's claim, I guess, but there's also not necessarily any reason to dredge here. We're not really getting anything out of it. I... So... I'm sure I'm gonna not dredge. Okay. Well, let's move to attacks. Let's see for what it's worth there. I could have hit blood gas on the draw, but not on the dredge, and, and played out the blood gas and had an additional attacker here. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, good. He's tapping the breeding pool. That's important. Um, because it means we can't get... All right, so this is not enough to save him. But there's still, still no reason to let him have it. All right, so he can't save this with Pendlehaven uh, like he wanted to do. Um, so this should mean that three gets through no matter what, and we can even flash it back. Oh my gosh, we did it. <laughs> oh wow, what a match. Uh, okay, good good match. I, You know, I, I kind of punted with that Dark Blast. It wasn't optimal what I did. Um, that said, it, I, I don't think it materially affected the game, and we ended up winning. So that was a fun match. <laughs>